Usually when we find fossils, we only have the hard parts remaining. And that can tell us something about the shape and size of these extinct animals. But what they don't tell us is how they might have appeared, such as, for example, what colors they might have. The Natural History Museum has got vast collections of fossils, including feathers. And we have looked at these and found well-preserved pigments in them, which has meant that we could reconstruct their original colors. There aren't loads and loads, but what we have got are really, really nice. So I think the best ones there. are in here. Right. Ah, oh, look at that. He's mostly from Europe, but yeah. there's a couple from America there. We take the specimens and we look at them under a very powerful type of microscope that is called an electron microscope. And with that, we can zoom in onto these impressions in the rock. And then what we see are the preserved pigments, little structures that are called melanosomes. And they are the structures that give colors to these fossils. While we know a lot about this cetacosaur because we have many, many fossils, we knew nothing about its color. But because we have some fossils that do preserve the skin, we were able to carefully reconstruct its color patterns. The cetacosaurus is a small herbivorous dinosaur. It's about the size of a Labrador. It's got a beak and horns on its cheeks and mostly it was walking around on two legs. We've really removed as much speculation as possible. So we've taken all the information from the fossil and we've allowed that information to dictate what dinosaur we sculpt. And we've done that not just with the anatomy, but also with this color pattern. And we're gonna then take it out into the field and, and, and learn what we can from that, from that information. It's brilliant now to have this model of the dinosaur and have these color patterns reconstructed onto it because now it starts to paint a story of how this dinosaur might have lived. And you can see that like, the, the kind of counter shading that you have here, this light underside, really sort of mixes well with diffuse light that we get here. It's quite clear that this thing would have been blending in really, really well with the background. we could see that it had evolved to conceal itself. It was camouflaged. It tells us something about the pressure that it was under back 130 million years ago. We know from the same deposits that there were fossils of Tyrannosaurus, large carnivorous dinosaurs that probably would have eaten this poor little dinosaur. This remarkable discovery are giving us a wealth of information from these extinct animals. We are now bringing dinosaurs back to life in Technicolor.